thought for sure he did. I guess not. Yeah, he Wait, these, yeah, those, these those are those are his three ones cards. Yeah, those are his original ones. Okay, yeah. So I'm assuming I'm going to see a mullow out of a cut down, and uh, yes, and hold on. Yeah, I don't think the quad. You want to? Okay, he wants quash later. Okay, I'll buy it. Maybe I don't know. I don't think it's hugely impactful. Also, is snake is snake reading a no? Wait, what's that card on the left that he has right now? Command. Yeah, what is that? That's a oh, uh, conscript, you can, conscript and you gain a vigor if you reacted last turn. I don't know. Personally, let me think about this. Ooh, final stage. What's he aiming for with that? Has to be the Tokoyo Blast, isn't it? Um, no, that doesn't work, does it? No, it's a generated attack. It would work with... Uh, the only thing it would hit was is Endless Snow, I think, or whatever. Not Endless Snow. Endless Snow would hit, and it would also hit yeah. the other one, the... Uh, the Yukihi one that also has snow in it or something, I think. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Gentle. The three one. Gentle snow, yes. Gentle snow so, and okay. endless snow. Yeah, I'll buy. It. I'll, I'll buy the final stage. I'm just not. I don't. Dude, I feel like it's just. I'm trying to think of how I like about the icebreaker. I think the icebreaker is interesting. Um... The last time I played Yukihi against icebreaker, it was pretty solid i don't know if you saw that game <laughs> i'm trying to think is it good okay so the thought process we're trying to okay so the way that he's running his specials is that he's covering his bases on what he wants to deal with right so yeah the right now looking at his build the the final stage definitely goes along with the endless snow but i, I don't think he is ever going to be using the icebreaker in this matchup i'm assuming he's probably the the endless snow is probably going to get popped and then he's probably going to start stacking aura for a final stage rendering the icebreaker useless it's not a bad thing but it is something to think about but don't having icebreaker and having final stage don't they kind of achieve the same thing thematically in a way where you're trying to dissuade those little poke attacks that are special related i feel like in situations you kind of want to choose one or the other as a less of a commitment way well, to deal with those sort of things you can sort of look at at icebreaker as a way in this matchup to take two flare and turn it into one life um i guess i, I what's his third special is it arc arc yeah Okay, um, it's fine. I don't know. I personally would have swapped out Breaker for something else because Breaker. Okay, my big thing about Breaker is if I'm playing it. Okay, some people. This is the way I use it. I basically use it if I'm going to prevent a life damage. That's kind of my rule of thumb when using Breaker. And it also like I'm usually just have like one other finisher, and my other card's just never going to get used, right? It's sort of a tech card. And I feel like as I said, he's covering two tech cards that cover the same option. I mean, the one one no reactions is kind of the other thing you're looking at, right? And maybe it gets value in this matchup, and maybe it doesn't. Um, visualizing it, I'm not entirely sure. I think the icebreaker is good against things like glancing strike, good against the three ones. But I mean, again, now you're just demanding a lot of flare, right? And as I said, that's like in my opinion, the problem with tech cards is it demands too much flare. And the problem with flare stacking in this potential matchup particularly for snake because i feel like he wants to be the aggressor in this matchup having two uh, a, me a medium range hitter and a close range hitter kind of forces the initiative to be on him while um, as you can see uh westlord's already generated a bit of a flare advantage mm -hmm. um just I think by the non approach westlord needs the flare advantage too though because he's trying to go for the early hollow blossoms and he also is going to be trying to drop the swinging flame at some point and yeah. he also needs the extra flare for endless snow. Uh, the flare denial for endless snow could be a factor, especially if Snake. Well, I mean, once Snake sees that Westlord has endless snow, he's going to try and build the five flare. I'm sure, but exactly right. And that's kind of my whole point: is it renders the icebreaker useless, right? You can't use icebreaker and stack flare for a final stage. But you don't know if they're gonna bring those or not. So, like. You don't necessarily bring the icebreaker just for their recurring specials. You like it cleanly deals with three ones and other things like that. So, yeah, I mean, I can see it. So you're saying if if he doesn't have snow, or, or even like have, even against snow. like swaying flame, it could make a difference. If he hadn't played it yet, he could use pop it for swaying flame and block it with three aura instead of four. Yeah, I guess that's true, but I don't know. I would never do that in my life. If they have any, like, every fucking time I play this game, dude, if there's one thing that can counter it, a motherfucker always has it. I swear mm -hmm. to God. I, like, I'm like, he, nah, he can't have it. Like, oh my gosh. I was like, okay. 
He's running out class, okay? The only way that this fucking final blow doesn't connect if he has Wavering Crystal. And Meng had one card in his hand. I'm like, okay. He's already played the reaction. He, but then in my head, it was like, it's Meng. He has Wavering Crystal. After the match, I was like, yo, you had Wavering Crystal? He's like, yep. I'm like, oh my fucking god. He never even played the card. The entire match, I lost. He never played it, but he had it. Like, there's just, so, it's just all the options are always covered. Like, there's never a spot where it's like, uh, you know, he doesn't have it. Now, that motherfucker always has it. Like, yeah, there's one thing. He has it. It's just always, it's just a given. Yeah, it if you don't force him to play it, they won't play it. It's crazy, man. This is actually a card I, okay, I actually want to become a Mizuki player. And um, the enhancement, I don't know what that way, what happened? What did he just, oh, did he? He played what? the shield soldier and took two to aura instead of three. Oh. Okay, okay, yeah, I missed what But it that's was. terminal, uh, so you can't make any more reactions this turn. Yeah, but honestly, I wanted to talk about this. What do you think okay, of swapping out the, the conscript? Okay, so this is just going to do one and go nom nom on the flare, right? It's not going to do does... It's not gonna do any damage. Oh, Hollow Blossoms. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, this okay, is the I, I got Endless Snow. Five Recover, yeah, and he's going to wield probably at the end of this turn. Actually, he's probably going to wield twice here, I guess, if he plays this. Yep, he's got the 1-1. One, one. Snake can't Wait, isn't this a little mind-boggling? Why the fuck are you running preparation and fake out without? So you can do this. So you can get oh, yeah, the wield yeah. twice and build his aura up to eight or seven in this turn. Would it? Isn't just and that endless goes back snow to your hand. better? Isn't um, gentle snow just better than endless snow here? I don't know. I feel like it is, right? Hmm. What are Westlord specials? It's this. It's endless snow, and it's what? Uh, a swinging flame. He's gonna, this is gonna get quashed. Um, yeah, I think Swing Flame. I think you drop one of this. I think you drop Endless for um, Gentle. I think. I think it's better. Because mm. now, what is he spending his aura on? Right? I don't know. He's running Chain Reel, right? He has to be running Chain Reel. Yeah, I think he's he's running. An abrupt a lot of I guess. Let me double check that though. He did. He did make some switches. I think at the last minute. Not Mizuki. He's not playing Mizuki. Yeah. You have to run Chain Reel if you're oh, Swinging Flame. So he's got that. Yeah, Chain Reel, Chain Flame. Is this fine? Windy Stage is actually pretty good for it too. Is this the player who's always had this? Yeah, this is this is the player. So I feel like this is all like the player that kind of gets stuck between trying to achieve two things, and I feel like this is kind of the same thing. He has some aura generation, but then he's kind of got some poke potential. Like, hmm. I'm just curious about it. Mm. He's not bringing in reactions, right? That's like one of the problems yeah. with running what he's doing is oh, that you can't you can't might... you can't carry any reactions because he has to keep the the preparation and the wield in hand. Oh, yeah, but for sure, this is going to be a gap closing turn for Snake. It's probably going to be a gap closing clone and like a cut down. I think. Um, I don't think anything else makes sense. Oh, what do you think of a steady advance versus the um versus, versus the card command. you just played? Yeah, I like Steady Advance more generally. I There's... am with you. I think I, I Steady Advance is one of my favorite Mizuki cards. Agreed. I think it really, because the thing about the card is uh, there, there's two ways to use it, right? You usually try to use it cycle one, turn one, if you can pull it, which is fairly likely. So you can get your conscription of three units, which allows a lot more flexibility. But also in the late game, recovering three times at R2 isn't the worst thing ever, especially if you didn't have a reaction last turn. So if you're kind of sitting there with three cards, you really don't have your, your stuff ticking because none of your reactions went off. You're kind of sitting there like, well, recovering three times isn't a bad thing to do right now. Or refilling up your units, if not. So I kind of like that option. I mean, of course, it's not good if you have another throughout in your deck, but considering Snake isn't running throughout in a deck, I think it's a missed opportunity to run City Advance here. Yeah, if I'm planning on conscripting, that's usually the first card I turn to. If You, you can definitely Agreed. take other cards on top of it if you want to go heavier into conscripting, how I usually look at it, but... I hate that other 1-1. One, one. I, don't, I don't think that's a good card for the one, one. generally. Yeah, I don't think it's very Actually, good. Actually, it's a pretty good one if you're going aggressively, because you, you use that to grab like a Spear Soldier off of it and it's kind of like you're getting a like either two one ones at worst or uh i think a one one and a I two think, one yeah but the thing is i think um steady advance covers your conscription enough right because you're generating three and they're kind of the only one that you're kind of pumping through is like the reaction and the spearman takes a little bit to line up especially if you're running a rather aggressive deck um, you kind of has to be the last thing you do and ending at that range oh he just okay this gets wait, well if you're if you're running turret then that that terminal effect is still a benefit for you, though, right? So. Yeah, I mean, it's not the worst. I'm just saying, like, when I particularly tested it, it feels like Steady Advance was that I had enough units at all times, and I felt like the 1-1 one -one was just a 1-1 that 
generated a unit that I, that I didn't find particularly useful. But that's just from my testing. Um, oh, God. So, yeah, uh, I would have liked to have seen Chen play a little bit more. Or not Chen, fuck. Snake play a little bit more aggressively here. But it looks like he's playing a little bit slower. I feel like the distance should have been closed here a little bit more. I'm kind of surprised but... he didn't bring the... Uh, or No, no, he couldn't keep two cards. Yeah, of course he wants to keep Quash and counter-offensive. So... So what happened though? The the life thing got cancelled by Quash, correct? Yep. And when does the life damage happen? Uh it beginning of turn is when that happens. So it's before beginning anything else happens turn. on turn. Yep. Okay. Ugh. I f like okay, here's the thing. I don't think Takoyo A two is that bad, but I don't think the aura generation strat is very good. I think she has good other cards, but this this aura generation thing is I... I'm inclined to agree. I feel like Tokyo A2 is just kind of, it lets you kind of ignore I'm... the usual vigor requirement with Tokyo and still kind of have stuff you can do. Agreed. Okay, unless, okay. The only exception to this, we get an Ukifune Serene. I typed about this earlier. I think that's the juice at the right time. But if you could just get like three ore and you just Ukifune Serene to fucking eight and it's just like kabam and you're like, oh shit, and then you just die, like that's awesome. But other than that, like you must see, like you really just have to have some banger options to get your aura up super high at all times. And the thing is, I didn't see the pick ban phase, but like. Oh my god, not banning Mizuki if you're gonna try to run this strat feels really bad. All that shit's gonna get cancelled out of his mind. Well, <laughs> like... A lot of Mizuki's cancels are terminal, though, so... You don't need to, you just need to cancel once, preferably the life damage. Every, but then the ore strat falls apart, right, if you're just spamming the life damage? What else do you want to cancel? I mean, yeah, uh, you, strike. you got Swaying Flame, you got some other things that, like, once you have free reign, you know that your opponent can't do anything. Swinging Flame is not cancelable by any of Mizuki's things anyway, so... Uh, it's cancelable by, by her special. I mean, yeah, her special. I, I agree. I think Snake should have brought it, but he didn't. Oh, right, yeah, right. but I mean, I... Wessler doesn't know that. Yeah, I guess that's true, but it, I mean, it doesn't matter. Snake's gonna... If, by the way, the six specials are, he's never gonna be able to hold on to Flare anyway. If he used to use the Icebreaker to negate some life damage. But I don't know. I think the Icebreaker is gonna be a last-ditch effort. Because he's got a lot of Mizuki reactions. But... There we go. Whoa, no icebreaker there. That's a sign, right? Because now, now he wants to. Because the thing is going to resurge. He took at the end life of his damage turn. from the endless snow, also, right? Yes. Wait, he took. You know, he took it from a three-one. The right. No, he took. He right took. Uh, he took this one-one to life, also, right? He hasn't reshuffled yet. I don't know why he did that. Because he didn't want to lose his flare to the aura. Bonkers. He didn't want to get his flare drained. Bonkers. I don't know about that. That seems sus. Especially if you're not playing. The only that character that sees, gets a free pass on life damage. He sees Endless Snow, so he's probably trying to, to go for the 5-5. Uh, five, five. Is that worse, though, taking a life damage to get the 5 flare and the shut down the Endless Snow? I it don't know. I've always I've always depends. been a huge I think naysayer against... I think it probably is. I, I'm also someone who... I like to try and, like, take those life hits to sneak in a, an early special, but... Uh, it doesn't. It doesn't always pan out. It actually frequently yeah. does not pan out. I don't know, but of course, like, uh, Sn uh, Shen's a huge advocate of fucking flare destruction being like the best thing ever. So maybe he's right. It flare is is very action intensive to make, other than from taking life damage. So mm -hmm. destroying it is very good. I don't know. I it, it, at least I... if your opponent isn't expecting their flare to be destroyed. If they're thinking oh. they can build flare and you're and you're like somehow sweeping them. Oh, ah, okay. So also something else worth mentioning. Uh, Snake is definitely a very low aura player. He like he doesn't mind taking the hit. Oh, that goes me. He doesn't mind like getting to low aura and kind of swinging. I play a more conservative sign where I tend to hug and then back up when I have my openings. But you see here Snake kind of heading out in a range that is okay, while just kind of absorbing the attacks and going for bigger counter attacks. I think we're gonna see that this turn. With the particularly the swing rush and the um swing rush into the counter offensive. Yeah, counter offensive. That's it. You can also do some recruiting. Eh. Good. Um is it fine? I don't know. It's really hard because he's playing a different way than I would play. Listen, I'm very much a King's Road player where I just hug back out, swing attacks and come out. Just feel like it's a yeah, gen so he's got generally the, uh, pretty good. His final stage set up. He just needs to yeah. 
script that aura okay. down if he can. Well, so now he's frozen, right? Though. Uh, oh wait, why do that? Wait, whoa, whoa, that's he's not gonna right. get. He's gonna get bigger back. Oh yeah, I don't know why. That's not right. Why oh, he has the Yuki, no, yeah. Yuki he reaction, but who cares? We can't. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on. Let's not be dumb. There we go. I don't care if he has to pull out. If he pulls out on you, then at least you're not gonna get pregnant. Mm -hmm. There we go. Oh yes, the six or a take to life, dude. That's the juice. Yeah, that's how you know you're, playing. Actually, that's how you know you're playing a good character. That's it, how you know you're playing a good character. Totally, it 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 hurts to go under under six or when you're running that, but I, it's also it's honestly just a boon to be able to go above five in the first place. So I think you, right. you should definitely be taking that to aura. Yeah, I'm gonna call that out because here's the here's the thing, right? In your mind, it's like, okay, but. Like he's not gonna. Uh, let's pray to God he doesn't hit me with anything else, right? But if I was like actively like really thinking here, you know he probably has steady advance, right? Like I mean, it's, it's, I know you haven't seen it, but like when you place a cur arms enough, right? You have to think like he steady, has this steady card. advance is the, is the true route. <laughs> yeah. Not steady. What is this? Counter offensive. My bad. Yeah. You, you have to know that he has counter offensive. Like, I know, like, logically, it's like, okay, I'm not going to take this to or so I can do the life. But, like, if you think a little bit more, it's like, he has to have that card. Like, it's just the best card ever. And he's just going to play it, and I'm going to lose my aura anyway. So now I feel like he took an extra life damage. He's going to end up taking more aura damage this way. And, like, I think I don't know if it was worth. I think he could have just taken the, um, Two to aura, and then just taking maybe this to aura as well, or maybe what was yeah, it? no, aura you can take it all to aura because you have aura for days if you're if you're running hollow blossoms. But I mean, do you? But if you're if you're, mean... if you're relying on this card to do your damage for you, you're just not going to win the game. But which is why I was really disappointed to not see the two three polite return. Replacement. What this card does is it forces your opponent to attack you every turn. <laughs> like if your aura gets up high enough, like. Yep, this is coming down to there. There's just no way he should have taken that one to life. But see, that's kind of, I guess maybe I'm biased against the Koryo A2 because it doesn't really change my game plan. So this is kind of a counterpoint now for Westlord to really lay down some damage. And he can't do it. Like, ah, see, it just, it just makes me sad. Like, you have to do some crazy shit to he, win. Like, he can get you up have to, to really play and, and threaten the Hollow Blossoms again, but that's pretty much it, right? You have to play super clean on this pair. On this pair, you have to kite a lot of kiting. And it's hard. It's so fucking hard to kite, Sine. Yeah, Sine more or less outranges you, so the ties are yes. or exceeds. It's just so hard. It's so hard. It's going to be so hard for Westlord. It really is. Like it's he's gonna really get a lot harder hard if he tries to end the well. snow here. He better not. I don't think he will though. I think he's gonna wait for a snake to be at one if figure. Yeah, the snow, then it's just over. Yeah, uh, he can't do anything. I mean, maybe he'll just do it, but like, I could just see him doing it. But I, I just, I, I can't. Yeah, I mean, this is. A, I mean, I know it's fairly early, but I think this is just gonna be so hard. Like now, it's kind of his turn, right? Snake's all out of resources, but I mean, what did he have? I mean, he has a glancing strike. You know, he kind of has a bunch of tools, but I think the problem is Westlord's deck just lacks a little bit of just damage, really. Because like, okay, like, okay, like, what is this? Like, what are we doing? Okay, glancing strike. I mean, sure, this might just get icebreakered anyway. I mean, he probably won't to hold on to the final stage, but I mean, personally, I'd icebreaker this. Uh, you're I, such a lead. I wouldn't icebreaker it because then, because you can just win the game off of off of endless stage or not endless stage, final stage here if he tries to endless snow. But I mean, he could, but uh, I don't know. I don't. And this I don't know. and this is rhythmic arc now too. Eh, but you know he has aura generation. I mean, what he can get another one, two, three aura this turn, four now, five. Uh, okay, so one thing I will say is that it might have been worth icebreakering just so you've reacted to something. But oh yeah, that's also true as well. Yeah, I really like the icebreaker there, um, because it, it kind of keeps like the whole theme, right? The theme of trying to uh, um try. Okay, so yeah, the theme of lowering your opponent's aura, as well as um, negating as much life damage because this is this composition isn't like super bonkers like when you have a bunch of flare like something like Urina, um, something like um, 
what else kicks with a lot? something like Yukihi. Yukihi kind of kicks with a lot of flair. Like his characters, like I feel like the preservation of life is like more important because I don't feel like his specials generate huge comebacks. Like after playing for a while, I used to think Rhythmic Arc was the end all be all. But the only thing that makes Rhythmic Arc particularly special is it's not a it's not something that you can. It's hard to prevent those four attacks from coming at you because normally if you're playing with someone with a cancel or some sort of reaction, it's pretty easy to get out of those sort of things if you have the right tools. Like. Like, you know, the Kana A special, which obviously is gonna get is getting nerfed. But like these other specials that are like single attacks, like okay, I song and dance out of like, you know, Swaying Flame. The rhythmic arc is very hard to completely get out of, and that's what makes it strong. But as a particular card that once you hit a certain flare level becomes extremely destructive, not so much. Does anyone have a bit? Have the one that took uh to Aura from your oh. opponent to the and yeah, yeah, yeah. The uh, yeah. Song of Ice or whatever. Yeah. Do say now I want have it? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wait. All right. That's so. a trick of zero, right? Because your opponent out right. Oh, no. Because one right now. I mean, I think it's a card. Seven, right? Ah, uh, he didn't bring it. All right. Oh, you're talking about uh, Resonant? Yeah, Resident, Resident B. I don't yeah. know. I don't think Sine A one has that, does she? And I I don't, know. <laughs> I don't know which one she lost for that. I didn't lose anything good. Well, yeah, let me think. He has Arc, Icebreaker, Stage. It has to be B. B has to be gone then. Pretty sure. You can just look on the bottom left. Or yeah, up here either way. You have no resonant beat. Okay, there you go. Ah, oh, yeah. No resonant beat. That'd, That'd be pretty be gross. Really That'd like be really gross with uh, Sound of Ice. <laughs> Zero cost resonant beat. Yeah, but as I said, as I was just talking about earlier, like, his characters don't have a lot of banger finishes. And, like, I think Resident Beat would, like, work all really well if you have, like, a really good banger finish. But honestly, like, I see a lot of, like, Resident Beat rhythmic arc, but I think, like, for example, a Resident Beat Sugakage Crush would be, like, generally better if you have the flair for it. Or like, uh, let's see. That's like ten flare at all. That's fucking ten flare. What is this? This is M four, right? Is that you, M four? What? Hello. Yep, it's me. All right, I missed you. No, I'm yes, just kidding. Sir. I hate watching you play. Uh, all right, <laughs> let's, let's see. So now it's Westlord's turn. Um, even life right now. So he's definitely hanging in there. The one thing I, I didn't I didn't really comment on that was actually pretty good with Westlord. He he actually got to um put back the glancing strike, which allowed him to draw um on even, which is actually really important. Um, so. Come, uh, kudos to that. Personally, I think the Shen should have Icebreaker the first one. Not that that would have canceled it anyway. It would have gone back. But um, So now he's kind of in a weird position where he kind of has to play around Icebreaker, which, I mean, honestly, in, uh, not Icebreaker, play around um, Final Stage. I know that, person, that I don't think Snake that's super hard. likes to uh, keep his specials covered, too. Like, he values that. Sure. I mean... I remember I was playing against Rotting Bear and he made fun of me for hiding my icebreaker and I was like, all right, cool. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. Hmm. So let's see. Um, math. He actually has a potential. Okay, never mind. Okay, he's just doing this. I was going to say, he had enough resources to do uh, Swaying Flame. Now, of course, we know it wouldn't work because of Icebreaker, but... Um, he's considering the Icebreaker here. Westlord, but yes. But I respect it. It does make sense. A lot of respect being shown here, which uh, so far has paid out. Oh, the greed. He's taking it Why to won't you Icebreaker, Snake? You're going to lose because you don't want an Icebreaker. And if that okay, you know what? If that icebreaker wins him the game on some gimmick, give him some gimmicks, and I'll give him respect. But I've only seen icebreaker used in a finisher like in one match, and it was against me, and I was very sad. 
I had all my bases covered besides the fact that I was getting Icebreaker as a finisher. Yeah, ice, like, Icebreaker right. on top of Rhythmic Arc isn't, isn't bad. Oh yeah, it's not bad. It's very situational. I feel like you have to have some really good prediction skills of the way the match is going to go. Actually, I do want to comment on this, actually. This is something worth commenting on. I actually don't like the outclass here. Um, outclass is very good against pokey sort of things. Like, for example, like a poke build, something like um, Chikage throwing down a lot of like 2-2-1-1, two, 2-2-1-1. Two, one, one, two, two, one, one. But the way that Westlord has, he has a lot of just straight up damage to life in three ones, and you can't really afford to find that, that sweet spot that ever hits four. Therefore, the outclass isn't really going to get a lot of value at one aura unless he literally hard focuses down to where he goes into a one aura himself and getting the extra flare generation in order to move around. And even in that case, right, you're not avoiding some of the attacks that are going to come down either. A lot of Yukihi's open oh, umbrella range attack. Uh, well, that was this is a really good game. Oh, yeah, that's, that's uh, God oh, damn it, dude. Goodness. Why the fuck? Oh. Can I watch a game that just doesn't make me depressed? <laughs> I want one game that just doesn't end in depression, and it uh, happens to me every fucking game. <laughs> he just, he had a... Rough, rough game. <laughs> he could have discarded the card just to play around it. Bruh. That's all he had to do. Well, now we're getting the horror, I'm glad. The, he could have just discarded it. The last game I, I played against Westlord, I actually beat him with Final Stage also. Against the one one Megumi attack, Lord, so Westlord, please. <laughs> oh yeah, the after attack still. <laughs> I just want the attack isn't good. canceled; it still goes. Yeah, off. yeah, of course, but I mean, sure, whatever. I just want one good game in this tournament. I haven't seen it. Maybe yours was good. I haven't watched yours. It was over an hour long, and I was like, "Fuck, I don't watch it." <laughs> Understandable. And yeah, it was, that was it was like two hours long before I did it because uh, Mix had to like go do some stuff and he was AFK for like an hour almost. Oh, Pog! That sounds like a forfeit to me. But I don't know. Maybe your match is good. Karashax made my match made me really sad. My match made me really sad. This match is making me sad. All the matches are making me sad. Every single match that M4 played today made me sad. Mm. Why are so yeah. <laughs> <sighs> he said, are we playing this out? He said, I'm not dead yet. Okay. Okay. Draw your cards, Snake. Give him the juice. Oh, this is just GG, right? Let me think. Well, yeah, because... He's okay. So, you yeah, but say, so, yeah. You could. No, this is lethal, though, because you... Wait, no, this is lethal no matter what. I don't know what I'm talking about. Just slam. Yeah, this is it. Because he has to take the 3-1. Then he can uh, give him the suck. And then he can icebreaker him. And he can't do anything about it. Yep. And then he can icebreaker. Well, well, GG. Um, snake takes it. Um, and another Snake versus Westlord round one match. Um... And yeah, he dies to final stage. Um, props to the snake for the outstanding um, special brings. Yeah, any any Something like that. Any pair that has multiple recurrences, I like bringing final stage. All right, hold on. I, I actually no, no no I'm not gonna flame. I'm not gonna flame. I thought about All right, the game. will bring his last comment here. What do you think about this match, <laughs> I mean, I still think Takoyo A2 is good. I think Westlord failed to bring the best Takoyo A2 card there was. Um, I think Westlord got a Giga Cheese. Um, Perhaps but I mean, the... not... we should I don't know. start the petition and set the Tobacco Fire and ask him to specifically write a rule that someone called Westlord is not allowed to play the game anymore. <laughs> Can we thank Karashex and M4 onto that list as well?